Welcome to The Wong Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clone a hard drive without a computer. I'm going to be showcasing a product from a company called Ank Max. It's a USB dual docking station. What makes this docking station unique is the ability to clone a hard drive without being attached to a computer. So you don't need to install any special drivers or have any special cloning software to clone a hard drive. It's all done natively on the docking station. One of the ways to speed up your desktop or laptop is by upgrading your mechanical hard drive to a solid state drive. I have a 500 gigabyte Windows boot up drive on this WD mechanical hard drive. I'm going to clone it to a 500 gigabyte Western digital solid state drive. Just a note, you just can't copy files from a Windows boot up drive to another hard drive and expect your PC to boot up after you replace it. You actually have to clone your hard drive, which copies all the boot sectors and instructions that can't be done when you just copy files over. In my case, this will allow me to boot into Windows after I replace the mechanical hard drive with the solid state drive. In today's video, I'm gonna do an unboxing, show you how to set it up, and then how to clone the hard drive natively on the docking station. Contest alert, guys. Ankmax was gracious enough to send me two additional units to give away to my viewers. Keep watching on how to enter the contest to win one of two dual bay cloning docking stations. As you're watching, you find the video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up like the video and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Okay, so let's unbox the dual docking station. So the company is called Ankmax. Uh, the model number is H2U30C. It's a two bay one to one clone. Uh, as you can see here, it's a dual bay uh, USB three uh, for both two and a half and 3.5 hard drives or so solid state drives. Real time digital display for clone progress, which is kind of nice. Uh, clone SATA hard drive, USB 3 speed, LED display, Windows compatible, and Mac compatible. So let's unbox it and take a look and see what's inside. Alright, so the first thing is the dual docking bay station itself. Uh, on the front here, you can see the LED display with the percentage sign. Uh, it's dual bay docking station, LED indicators on the side. Uh, it says power source hard drive 1 and hard drive 2 and the clone button. At the back here has the USB 3 input, the on off switch, as well as the 12 volt input. So next up is the power brick that comes with it, the 12 volt DCN. Comes in two pieces. Uh, it comes with the USB 3 cable. Uh, so this end here is um, plugs into the dock and this end plugs into your computer. It also provides you with a USB-C to USB Type-A adapter as well. So if you want to use the USB-C port on your computer for faster speeds, um, you can also use uh, the USB-C adapter here as well. Um, so you just plug it in, and there you go. So I think it's kind of nice that they have that included. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is the instruction booklet. So this instruction booklet is really well done. So Ankmax, you have set the bar very high for uh, people creating instructions, and this was really well done. And what I mean by that is, if you're a novice, you've never put one together, the instructions are very well detailed. With instructions, you can see that the arrows tell you where to plug things in, how to turn it on. Um, again, instructions are really well done. Not only that, um, you know, to flip through it here, it also tells you how to set it up on your Windows PC, how to actually clone a hard drive. And this is pretty nerve wracking or kind of daunting if you've never done it before. Um, instead of, but they actually provide the instructions on how to clone your hard drive. And especially with Windows, uh, telling you the different disks, uh, map, mapping it out. And not only that, but when you clone a new hard drive, a format a new hard drive, it actually has information for disk management and how it's unallocated and uh, you have to find it and how to create a simple volume. And these are very, very good detailed instructions. Um, so kudos to uh, Ankmax and also has the Mac OS instructions as well, how to do that in your OS. So again, very well done. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the docking station, I'm gonna set up on my computer, and then we are going to demonstrate how to clone 500 gigabyte mechanical hard drive to a 500 gigabyte SSD. So we're gonna plug that in and we're gonna clone it. And I wanna see the LED display light up to show the progress of the cloning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up.
to start using the dual bay docking station, connect the USB 3 cable to your computer. Connect the DC 12 volt in, turn it on, and the display will briefly light up to show it's powering on and then the display is gonna turn itself off. I'm going to plug in my Western Digital 500 gigabyte mechanical hard drive, which is the source drive. And this is the Windows boot up drive to be cloned. Next, I'm gonna plug in my 500 gigabyte solid state drive, which is the target drive, and it's the blank drive that will be written onto. I'm going to review both hard drives in the Windows file directory so you can see the space and files of each drive. The source drive is O, and it currently contains the Windows boot drive, and it is 144 gigabytes of space. The P drive will be the clone drive, and it currently contains 1.75 megabytes of data. In this clip, to show you that it can be cloned natively, I unplugged it from my PC, and I double clicked the clone button that's on the docking station. It's gonna start cloning right away. It took one hour and 19 minutes to copy 144 gigabytes of data. After the clone was complete, I had to use Windows Disk Management to see if the SSD drive was successfully cloned. Because it's a Windows boot drive, it's gonna give a warning going offline. This disk is offline because signature collision with another disk is online, which means that both drives were signed letter O and Windows is confused about which one to turn on because it can't have both of them turned on. So in this case, it turned off the SSD uh, offline. But you can manually turn it back online, which I just did here. And when I compare both drives now, you can see it's exactly the same. Both have the same drive letter and contain the same file size of 144 gigabytes of data. Now I can replace my solid state drive in my desktop and the computer will boot up into Windows 10. I have now sped up my computer just by switching from a mechanical hard drive to a solid state drive. I have two units to give away to enter in the contest. Like the video and enter a comment below on how you back up your computer. And if you don't back up compute, just explain why you don't back it up. All right, so that completes my video. If you have any questions about the docking station and how to clone a Windows boot up drive, leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys for watching and until next time. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, to clone a Windows operating boot drive. Um, in today's, in today's video, I am going to showcase a product from Ank. In today's video, I'm going to showcase a product from. In today's, in today's video, I'm going to show. In today's video, I'm going to showcase a product.